How's it going everyone? My name's Adam, or Epos Fox, and what the fuck? This is my Frequently Asked Questions series. It's not an ask me, it's simply, I get asked these questions all the time and I want to provide a detailed enough answer, but one that I can just continue to link back to without having to retype it all back out. Uh, this is going to be about two to three questions per episode, a an easy one and a more in-depth question. Today we're talking about what cursor I use and how I get my review samples. And the cursor that I use, the main one that I'm currently using in videos as of this time of recording and the videos surrounding it is called Eclair. And I will have a link to it in the description below. One that you may have seen in previous tutorials is called Intis, but it does not scale up very well when I'm using DPI scaling and it just doesn't look very great on my 4K display when I'm trying to make videos. And I found the Eclair one looks a lot nicer at 4K for videos. And overall, I just prefer larger cursors since I'm using at such a, or since I'm working at such a high resolution and I don't use any DPI scaling normally, I need a big cursor to know where the hell I'm clicking. I did make a tutorial on how to install custom cursors in Windows without getting viruses on your computer and the like. If you haven't seen that, a link to it will also be in the description below in the YouTube card icon. I highly recommend you check it out. The second question is, how do I get my review samples? Which is a very interesting question to ponder the answer to. Well. There's a few steps to getting review samples on your channel. A, you have to actually review stuff in the first place. No one literally, the, okay, someone may find an example of a company, but virtually no company of any reputation that will actually benefit you to send you review samples is going to send you review samples if you've not reviewed anything before, unless you already have a big channel. There's plenty of big giant gaming channels and stuff that ended up getting review units just because they had a big following and then they make reviews and the reviews suck because they don't know how to review anything. You need to figure out how to review stuff and to figure out if you're good at it and if that's something that people want to watch. Review stuff you already own, review stuff your family has bought, review stuff you've tried out of your friends, review your own stuff. You can buy the the quickest way to build a review channel is to buy and resell the products that you want to review. Do not return them to the store. That is theft and stores track that and you can get in a lot of trouble for that. Amazon will like disable your account. Uh, other stores will ask you not to come. That's shady. No, no. But buying and reselling, as, as I mean, as long as you just reviewed it for a couple of weeks, most of the products would qualify as brand new open box. Knock a little bit off the price, sell it on Amazon or eBay, you're good to go. So build up a library of quality reviews, figure out your review process, develop a show, a branding, a process that is consistent across all of your reviews that you become known for. Find out if you have a specialty, a niche, something unique that you cover things from. Because frankly, just another person reviewing things just because you want to doesn't really sell to anyone. That's not an answer anyone wants to hear, but it's an answer that even I had to face at some point. That, oh, I want to review stuff. Why? What's your what's your take? What's your stick? What's your... why? Just because I think it'd be fun. Just because I'm interested in this stuff. Because I've played with it before. Sorry, that does, that's not how you get a mass audience. That, that doesn't mean anything to anyone. Find your shtick, find your niche, find your gimmick, find what you're good at, develop your review skills, and grow a channel. Because your channel has to, like, people always act like there's this big dividing factor between small channels and big channels. Overall, there isn't one other than small channels actually have the potential to sell products to customers, to viewers or big channels do. Big channels actually have the potential to sell products to viewers as customers, to develop a business relationship with the audience. Small channels, to, like when you're talking like 25 or less subscribers, which is most of the people who make those kinds of arguments, you've probably got like 10 friends watching your videos and that's it. Like even, even my first 25 subscribers, like I wouldn't have been able to sell them a piece of paper for a penny. I. Heck, I still have a lot of trouble selling stuff to subscribers. It's something that is very problematic. And you're, you could be like, well, why would I need to sell stuff? I just want to review stuff. Well, companies send people products to review because they want to sell more of them, not to just support the community blindly. There are a couple companies that do that. Razer loves their community. Razer only has an, a, a business in the first place, probably because of the cult-like following that they have. Control Freak treats their customer base amazingly. Their fan base is why they are doing so great and they send things out to just about everyone. But most companies aren't willing to do that, especially once your review units get a little bit more pricier. You've got to have a good following that you can convert. As long as you're converting at least one or two sales, sales, 
sales. I always, I always say that weird. As long as you're converting one or two sales, then you're making them their profit back. So it's a good investment. Another way to track that if you really want to push and try to sell companies on giving you review units is sign up for affiliate code programs. Again, Control Freak, G Fuel, uh, Amazon has their own affiliate program, but you have to actually be 18 and have a bank account and do things legitimately, not spam your affiliate link everywhere as people like to do. Sign up for an affiliate link program, and if you find success with that, you can use those numbers to market to other to other businesses, PR departments to give you stuff or sponsor you or things like that. But again, in order to have done that in the first place, you have to build a substantial base of following, uh, even if it's just on Twitter. Like that's the thing is you don't have to. Uh, there's so many missed opportunities when people think to be a brand, to be a personality, to be a reviewer, to be anything like that, that they have to uh, be on YouTube or be on a blog and that's it. Social media takes off like wildfire. While no, you can't directly monetize your tweets. If you build a huge dedicated following on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Snapchat's a little more iffy because stats aren't like public, but Instagram, Musical.ly, Tumblr even, like. A social media platform where you have a huge audience and they're actively and they're actively engaging with your posts and you're able to like sell stuff to them as long as you know it's organic and genuine and they trust your opinion that counts as a review site it's, it may be a little bit harder to sell to companies but if that's what you're good at Instagram the hell out of your reviews make that your review base like if that's what truly what you're good at especially product photography don't waste your time trying to make videos Take awesome pictures, write your review in the Instagram post. You can write pretty much as much as you want. Hashtag the hell out of it. And if your audience is growing on there, that's what you can start trying to sell to companies. But you have to have an audience base of some sort. But the best way to get review samples is to review other stuff. If you want to get a review sample of a certain type of product, review another of that type of product. Like, I reviewed a couple laptops, so then I could get review sample laptops. I reviewed microphones. So I could get more review sample microphones. I re you know, review that kind of stuff. Show that you're you have an expertise in it. Show that you have a reason for pe companies to send you their product. That your audience trusts your opinion. And I'll send it to you. That was a much more long-winded answer than I expected to give to that. But I want to make sure that my thoughts and feelings and points to it are iterated correctly. I may do an update to that as my channel grows. But that is my answer definitively from this point forward. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. Again, this is just a side week weekend series. And if you have a question that you think everyone wants to ask or something like that, that would benefit the audience, leave it in the comment section down below. And otherwise, I will catch you in the next episode.